This is my guide on how to unlock Ribrian Super's Ultimate and Super Soul, starting off with Formation and Pretty Cannon. Both of these moves are unlocked in the Parallel Quest 133 of Ribrian's Beauty Lesson, and you have to clear it in under 7 minutes to get the ultimate finish. You're going to start off in the Wasteland with Ribrian, and she's going to talk to you for a little while, so ignore that and power up, get all of your key, transform, and get ready to go through the first portal. She will bugger off, very nice, and then it's time to start the mission. Three portals will open in total, it doesn't matter in which order you do them, you have to do all three regardless, so just pick one and go with it, you have to come back and do the other ones eventually later. One portal will lead you to Krillin and Android 18, neither will be that difficult. Krillin's actually kind of, uh, he's, he's, he's not quite the pushover that you'd expect him to be. Krillin and his super souls is not the normal Krillin. It's a scroll Krillin. <laughs> Anyway, get rid of 18 and, and Krillin as quickly as possible. Uh, they don't drop anything, so just move on. Go through the portal, back to the wasteland, and then go to one of the other two open portals. Two of the portals are connected, but I can't remember which ones. I think it's uh, the last one I go to is connected to this one, but either way, I mean, you're going to have to do the same amount of enemies either way, so just get rid of Future Trunks and Android 17. I would recommend taking something like Super Vanishing Ball, and just spamming it over and over again because you're going to fight a lot of enemies in this match an absolute metric ton of enemies so you might even want to take uh, I hope you're reborn to someone good this time I wouldn't take prominence flash because it's not amazing but I mean it's, I just use it because I wanted to see what it looked like <laughs> but it's not an amazing move for parallel quest so take something else all regen capsules are really good for making sure your team doesn't die on you so that would be quite good take some of those the final portal he waits in the final area, or the first or the second, depending on the order you've done them, you have to fight against four enemies. Adult Gohan, Piccolo, Kaba, and Vegeta. And none of them are particularly difficult. Gohan's a little bit aggressive. Piccolo is not the pushover he was in the other parallel quests, in these new parallel quests, annoyingly. Uh, Vegeta's predictable, Kaba's predictable, so really, I mean, pick and choose which order you take them out in, doesn't really matter. Here's a good example of why I wouldn't take Prominence Flash with me to a parallel quest. It's just, if it misses, it's got a small area radius, it doesn't do ridiculous damage, and you're quite, you're quite vulnerable while using it. Take something like Kaioken Kamehameha, does a ton of damage, almost the same as Prominence Flash, one less key bar, fires a lot quicker, and you can't get stamina broken, so it's a pretty decent move in that regard. But yeah, just take moves like that that kind of cheese it up. Once you get this warning sign, you've triggered the ultimate finish. Go through the portal, back to the wasteland, and you're going to start the ultimate finish portion of this mission. I really hope that none of you have to grind out this mission more than two or three times, because this mission is stupidly long. It is very, 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 very long. When Ribrian is down to two health bars, everyone will flood in. And I mean everyone will flood in. Every single person, I mean every person that you've defeated in this entire parallel quest comes back for a second time. That means at least, what, must be... must be ten enemies just drop in every now and again. And I think they're on some kind of a minimum timer because I've been flooded with three or four enemies at one time, or I've defeated them all and just been waiting for one to spawn in every now and then, so... I'm gonna say it's a good idea to defeat them as quickly as possible and cheese it out by spamming supers and ultimates, because you don't want to get overwhelmed by multiple enemies. And it's, like I say, it's a really long mission, and it's a really tedious one. I'm so glad I didn't have to do this more than twice, because I'd be quite, quite grumpy about that. There is only two drops from Ribrian in this parallel quest, and that would be Pretty Cannon and Formation. Pretty Cannon will have a skill drop indication, well at least it did for me when you defeat Ribrian, but Formation didn't, so just keep that in mind, and she doesn't drop her Super Soul yet. And you do get random equipment drops from various enemies throughout this parallel quest, that will be the different clothes from the Universe 2 contestants, as well as a couple of the new Super Souls. I really, really don't like this mission. The only reason I don't like it, and it's probably just, it just really annoys me, is having to defeat everybody twice. You do it once, you have to do it all again, I just don't see a point. But there's many things you can do to help this mission go a bit quicker. Something like Godbreak will be really useful, especially with the amount of enemies you'll be fighting. There's going to be a lot of dash spamming. 
and just a lot of just uh, spamming in general from them with the same kind of rushing, so it'll help prevent that. So spam your own moves in retaliation, use super vanishing boosh, and use whatever booshable ultimate move you would like to use. Use Kaioken boosh, god boosh, any kind of boosh move. It will end up being a bit strange at times because you'll defeat all the enemies and you'll have a couple seconds to yourself and you'll think, well, it's got to be over now and then someone else appears. But like I say, Android 18 is the last enemy that appears. So if she's the last one you're fighting, that's the end of it. Just get rid of her as quickly as possible. You probably won't have a lot of time left on the clock. So the quicker you do it, the more chance you've got of actually completing the mission instead of failing. And that's the ultimate finish. I hope you didn't have to do this god awful mission more than a couple times. And remember that you get a skill drop indication for Pretty Cannon, but not one for Formation. Goody! Here's some of the new Super Souls, as well as some of the new clothes and the tail accessory. What we're looking for is the skill. I have no idea why they do that, that sometimes skills will drop on screen and sometimes you have to wait till the end of the mission to see if you've got it. Because I don't really want to do the same mission ten times to see if I've got it. I want to know halfway through so I have to restart or not. Either way, RNG gods, please be with us now. Next is a lovely Cyclone, a move that I believe does more stamina damage if they're blocking it. To unlock this move, you need to go to Parallel Quest 135, Ribrian, Defender of the Love and Justice, and you have to clear with Ribrian's health over 50%, so that means you're bringing Energy Zone with you, aren't you? Yes! Charge up because you can have a lot of dialogue from Ribrian, something we all love. There's going to be two time patrollers at least scattered around these different maps who are down, so if you get them up, you'll get an item, which is nice. You don't need to do this, it doesn't really give you anything other than just, you know, just generic items, but it's kind of kind of alright. They give you material stuff. There you go. Fly away. Happy and alive. Spam your ultimates as normal. Super Vanishing Ball, Emperor's Death Beam, whatever you want to use. Try and get some cheeky stamina breaks like that one. All sell you sausage. And just keep battering the enemy with whatever repetitive cheese you want to use because really they're not human players. They don't know the difference. Just spam everything you have. Do the most repetitive, cheesy, efficient, damage-dealing tactics you can use. Because really, we're not here to play the mission to enjoy it. Well, we're going to play it about ten times anyway. Through the portal we go! And there you have to fight Toa and Mira. Not Final Form Mira, normal Mira. The one that's not quite so annoying. Just spam your ultimates if they're not locked onto you. And in this map at the uh, the back of the massive house, the capsule corp house there, is uh, another downtime patroller, so... Get him up at the end of this and you'll get another material item. Nothing too fancy, but you know, it's something extra, so why not? I wonder if his name changes. I never actually bothered to check. The portal will open and you can get him up. He'll fly away. Say thank you, sausage, and he'll fly away. Go through the next portal after charging up all your key and you go to the next area. You get Zamasu and Goku Black there. Rose Goku Black, I should say. You'll have to defeat both of them. You don't get any skill drops from them, so just take them out again, just as quickly as you can. Don't need to pay attention. Go on autopilot as normal and just get rid of them both. After you've defeated those and you get the warning, that means the ultimate finish portion of the mission has triggered. In will come in Final Form Mira, Golden Freezer, and Fuse Zamasu. And be wary that Final Form Mira does have his super villain moves. He's got his Beela Storm, he's got Marbling Drop. And he's probably got something else. I don't think he used anything else in these matches that I have played this, but he's got the normal moves, so be very wary that he uh, can attack you with annoying super villain moves, which is nice. Fusamasu is a standard character, as is Golden Freezer, so they'll be relatively easy to take out. The only thing that's going to make this a bit annoying is uh, Final Form Mirror's super villain moves, but we know how to get around those by now. So it's no big deal -a really. And remember, you've got a limit burst on every Super Soul, so if you do get stamina broken, you can push them away and have another chance at smacking them to the floor and saying, You're pathetic! And using Blaze Attack or God Breaker! And you'll have many chances at Turkey Boosh moments, or just, just normal sausage moments like that. Very nice. No indication of a drop, we've got to wait and see. That's a Super Soul. And lovely Cyclone. Now we're going to get her ultimate, which is pretty okay, but doesn't do much damage. 
you're going to need to go into Parallel Quest 137 Tournament of Power Round 2, and you have to clear this with 8.5 minutes remaining, and that's triggering the ultimate finish portion of the mission. You will start with about 6 minutes on the clock, and every time you defeat an enemy, you'll get more time added to that clock, which is how you have to finish the match with 8.5 minutes remaining. The earlier enemies only give you about 30-40 seconds, and it goes up to about a minute later on as the enemies get more difficult. So, again, spammy, spammy, spam, 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 spammy, spam, spam, ham, eggs, spam, and spam, and get as much time racked up and as much damage over a short amount of time as you can. Spammy, spammy, spam, 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 spammy, spam. You don't fully appreciate how quick firing and hugely damage dealing and actually quite accurate moves like Super Vanishing Ball are until you go in a mission like this. It's just so drawn out and long. So if you take a Super Soul, uh, my favourite one would be, I hope you're reborn as someone good this time, you Super Vanishing Ball with a 9 key bar character. The great thing about Super Vanishing Ball in general is that as soon as you press the move, the key goes for it, like it's just gone. So if you manage to defeat them while you're in the animation, you'll keep the key and you'll regain all your key and you'll kind of get four Super Vanishing Balls to use. So that'd be nice. So logic would normally dictate that with this portion of the mission we're unlocking Ribrian's ultimate move and we're fighting Ribrian. So you'd think, <laughs> you would think that after you defeat her that's where you get a skill drop, but no, there's no indication, there's nothing. <laughs> I don't think she drops it or if she does then it doesn't tell you. Uh, no one else drops it. So it's just a, a reward at the end of the mission, it's just one of those annoying little things that you know we have to put up with on most missions now is that you've got to randomly play it and you have no idea if you've got it just finish the mission defeat every enemy sit through all of the dialogue and you might get it you might not that's half the fun after you defeat those enemies freezer will drop in with frost don't launch any ultimates because very shortly afterwards cover comes in with vegeta I would take lots of health regen items for the entire team because it will help you out. You don't want them getting down. The AI on these new missions is more annoying than normal. Or maybe I'm just forgetting how annoying it is to have them randomly switch opponents to you and gang up on you while one of your teammates is doing nothing. The amount of times I've been playing this, these missions, these trying to get these moves, and you'll start the match and two of the enemy, or even three, all of them, will just gang up on you and your teammates are just standing there watching them. That's very good, isn't it? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> That's what I want to happen when I play this game. The AI has been improved massively since the start of this game. It's been going in a forward direction, not gone back at all. It's so much better, not worse in the slightest. Vegeta will bugger off after you deal enough damage and you won't get the key back if you're using the Super Soul. I hope you're a bonus someone good this time, so just keep that in mind. And also the same with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. He will not give you the key after you defeat him because you don't technically defeat him because he flies off, he buggers off somewhere else. But everyone else will give you a key back if you use the Super Soul. But if you don't, don't worry, never mind. So Kefla is a pretty easy character to defeat in this mission, pretty standard. Hits a little annoying because he's got his time skip and jumps around and you know, can teleport behind you at whenever he likes and stuff. But the only thing that's kind of to watch out for other than that is his ultimate is kind of quick firing. And sometimes if there's a lot going on you don't really see he's started it and he can get you in the ultimate. He's got me in it like two, three times trying to do this. Once you defeat everyone, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Vegeta, Ultra Instinct Goku and Jiren will drop in. If you're thinking to yourself, Oh no, I wish I knew how to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta Super Soul and Prominence Flash. This is where you get it, and a full guide on Super Saiyan God Vegeta is also on my channel. But that's not why we're here. We're here for Ribrian's moves. Yes, we are. No clue whether it's actually dropped by Ultra Instant Goku, or if it's just a random drop at the end of the mission. It could be either. If you know for sure, if you've got the drop from Goku, um, put a comment down below and I'll pin it so everyone can see. And we're waiting for that drop. This has been my guide on how to unlock Ribrian, Super's Ultimate and Super Soul as well as the Universe 2 clothing from DLC 9 or Ultra Pack 1. There will be more content coming from the DLC pack, but until then, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Axonius Rex.